Alright, I'm going to do a little how-to video. Changing the boom cylinders out on the LTM 11200. They're pretty easy. Obviously, you got to get the boom off first. But it only has one pin. And they just push out from the inside. If you'll be able to see it but the end of the pin is roughed up a little bit so it stays in place <clears throat> but these are the older YCC cylinders the top of these just they twisted to tighten they're not really very any good very good at all if you got the jig, <clears throat> but these are the new style. They have a screw in the side. These are also a little bit more detailed, kind of. The Cylinder is actually pretty big compared to the other style. Mine have a bunch of holes in them because I couldn't get them tight enough with the jib. They were always sagging. So I had to drill a bunch of holes to hold it up. Switching them out shouldn't even take five minutes really. Just pop the pins out. I gotta glue that back on. But pop the pin out. the cylinder off, swap them out, put the pin back in, and it also comes with Hydraulic lines and the little brace that goes in, in between them. And the set screws, they got to be added. And the tool. These hydraulic lines are thinner too. And more flexible than the older ones. There's the two screws you gotta put in. I gotta glue the little bracket back on but these are really nice like I said the cylinder is thicker too so it looks looks better and then I glue this bracket on It goes in between here to each cylinder and the hydraulic lines. They go in up to these hydraulic valves. <clears throat> but, 
Like I said, it shouldn't take more than five minutes to swap them out. I want to say these were like 70 bucks, which is totally worth it. Yeah, there's a little how-to video. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.